A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who kept your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments, we have sinned, been wicked and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who have spoken your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O oh Lord, is on your side. We are a shame face even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all of Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treasury toward you. O oh Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O oh Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness, yet we rebel against you and paid no heed to your command, O oh Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Responsorial Psalm. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name, deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, grant you with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, Lord, Lord with us according to your sins. <clears throat> Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. God is mercy. 
<clears throat> and the one constant about God is God is ever ready to forgive. And I couldn't help but think in that responsorial song when we kept saying, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. I just found my heart saying, and thank God you don't. <laughs> thank God you don't. God is ever merciful and invites us to be that to one another. <clears throat> and then he gives us, I think, two practical words of advice on how to get forgiveness. His first word is, do not judge, and you will not be judged. His second word is, do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. So I think Jesus is saying, if you want a forgiving heart, you have to control your thoughts around judging and condemning. Because those are the two great blocks to forgiveness. Now I don't know if you have any triggers that set you off, but I have a few. For example, if I see somebody I be tattooed, I go into a negative mode. <clears throat> when I see a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, when I see a lot of body piercing or really weird hairdos, my mind is just going, and I am ready to judge and I am ready to dismiss. And those are just a few of the triggers that go on in me. But I think for all of us, we have to understand that when we withhold forgiveness for whatever reason it has happened because we have both judged and condemned the other as unworthy of our gift. So I think the advice of Jesus is very practical. If you want to journey with a forgiving heart Checkmate yourself on judging and condemning. And if you can get a grip on those two realities, you will put yourself in a position to be able to forgive again and again and again. I find his advice helpful, and it helps me to understand I can become merciful, just as God is merciful. And the wonder is, so can you.